Hello, this is Greg Wagner with um, the first of my series of Unix programming. So today's class is basically going to go over the basic um, programming commands for Unix. And then we'll later in class we'll go over uh, script programming and some other more advanced stuff. And so basically the basic objectives are is you be able to log on to Unix um, system. I'll put some links um, down below, but for Windows, you'll probably have to use SigWin um, or you can um, TDD. Um, basically remote login to a Unix server. Um, and then for Mac and uh, uh, Linux users, you have Unix as your basic operating system that you can just load from the console. And so the fundamental command that I think I use probably hundreds of times a day in Unix is the cd or change directory command. And this is actually the same command in, in Windows. So basically the, the change directory command is you type in cd and then if you just type in cd and the dollar sign, so the dollar sign right here is basically means a Unix command. But the dollar sign for, so for cd basically this, if you just do blank cd it takes you back to your home directory. And then you do cd and a, and a directory name and that takes you to the name directory. And you can basically break up directory names um, with a slash. And then the next one I use all the time is I usually do cd and then I'll top ls to see what, just what's in that directory. ls lists all the files in the directories. So if you just do ls from where you are, it'll list all the files in the current directory. But you also do ls in a directory name and it'll do all the files. And then if you do ls, the minus l, and I'll show you in the demo here at the end, um, at the very end of this um, video, the what happens to ls. But basically it shows the permissions, who owns it, file size when it was created and stuff like that. It's really helpful. And if you do ls minus a for all, it shows um, all the files. So sometimes there's hidden files. In Linux, or I'm sorry, Unix, if you put a dot in front of a file, it makes it hidden. And this will show basically all of those. And sometimes it's, sometimes you want to see those. And then so for more core commands, when I use probably every time, usually my kind of basic script is I'll do cd to something, ls, and then I'll do pwd a dot when I kind of you have to go to the bathroom or something like that. This basically PWD stands for present working directory. It tells you where you are. <coughs> and some versions of of Unix um, have it in the command line, but some don't. So P PWD is actually very helpful. CP stands for copy. This what this does is we'll make a copy of the file and move it from one location to another. And I didn't show it here, but you can do basically you have the file name the current file name and the new file location. If you don't put anything at the end, it gives you the, it copies to the, that folder and it uses the same name. But if you put a name in there, it will also move it to, um, to give it a new name as well. And then MV stands for move, but also basically what it does is just renames it. And so if you do old file name or new file name, you can move it to another place or you can move it to a different directory. And I actually, I'm, I use copy a lot, but I don't use MV that much, basically because um, I kind of don't want to forget what I did, so I usually don't rename whole stuff a whole a lot. And here's some kind of just file just ones to make new directories. We have make directory, and so you put make directory, and then you just put whatever directory name you want, and it'll make it. Remove directory. If you have an empty directory, and you do remove directory, you can remove it. And then charge um, ch mod is the change mode basically allows you to change it and I'll show you how it works but a lot of times files you maybe when you make a file it has read write and then read and read permissions for everyone else but if you want to give read permissions write permissions to everybody this is the thing you use or you want to remove some permissions from something and then rm is um, remove file this basically deletes the file from the directory and then other stuff is kind of just a view stuff um, use cat and this and the file name it'll print out the whole file more prints out the file, but if it's more than the whole screen, I'll show it later, it will um, basically only cut it off. Echo basically just, whatever you have to the right of the echo just prints out, and I'll show that later. And then Pico is an editor, which I'll also show a little bit later on. So, kind of to go over the basic commands, is we have CD, which change directory. And this basically goes to different directories where you are. Um, and we'll go into this one actually a little bit more later. And then if I have ls, which stands for list, notice how I just created this new user, so I don't have really anything in here. And so we want to actually make some content before we get kind of get into the moving around. 
So the first thing we're going to do is make a directory for this work. So I'm going to use the, can the command mk um, dir, and it stands for make directory, and we'll give it a name. So you're going to do make directory space, and we'll give the name um, test space. And so now if I type ls, you can see I have my examples desktop and then also my test space. And so if I do, I can also do ls minus l, and this will show all the permissions. So this first column here is like this kind of basically like special permissions. Usually if it's a, if it's a dash, it means, usually it means it's a file, and d means it's a directory. And this is the permissions. So we have the first two are read, write, and execute for the user. So the user in this case is test user, my dummy case. The second one is for the group. So I have test user as well. Um, at the university, you'll see groups as like staff, undergraduates, grad students, um, amends, stuff like that. And the third group is the rest of the world. So this here is a file that only I can, I can read and write to it, and everyone else can only read it. And this next space is a directory or a folder. And usually directories in this version of Bash and a lot of versions of Bash are have a different color than this. And then you can also see here, I forgot to mention this, this is the size of the file and in bytes. And then this is what, when it was created. So you can see it was created on um, July 15th, um, in this case of 2017. So to enter a directory, you do CD, which means CD directory, and the file you want to go to, the directory you want to go to. So now I'm in test spaces. And if I do ls minus l, you see there's nothing in there. But if I do ls minus a, you can see I have there's a, a blue dot and two blue dots. The one blue dot basically is like a kind of a recursive pointer back to the same directory you're in right, right now. And the double blue dots means it's going to go up to the above directory. So if I type cd, if I type, well, so let me see where you're right now. If I do pwd, you can see that I'm in home test user test space and PWD stands for present working directory. If I do CD dot dot and then type PWD, you can see I'm in home test user. And this tilde also me shows you where you are. In this case, um, it's not in all versions of Bash, but in this case, the tilde means um, your home directory. So if I go into test space again, and notice how I can put, I can type in a few parts and then you know, I hit tab, it'll fill the rest of it out. And if it doesn't f find something else, so let's see, I'll do cd dot. And you can see how it has, it shows you, lists you all the ones that have that common phrasing. So I'm, t I'm going to go cd test space, and I'm going to tab to fill it out. And then if I type cd just itself, it'll take me back to the home directory. So I'm going to type clear this clears out your screen and basically actually doesn't really clear it out it just scrolls up so that the lines at the top you can actually see what you go scroll back up and see what you, your previous work was so I'm gonna type CD test space and now we're gonna make a we're gonna make a couple files and so to make a couple files what I can do is I can do if I type Pico Pico is an editor and so is a, basically an editor and then you can see here there's one nano so every time the new kind of basically new version of this comes out there's it started off there was I think first was like I think it was micro nano and now pico and I'll type in some stuff here I'll say welcome and then I'll hit down here the, the up arrow means uh, control so I control X um, now let me exit and they'll ask me if I want to save it. Yes. Write the name. I'll call this file test.txt. And now if I hit ls, you can see test.txt is in here. And then so say I want someone else other than me to have permissions to read it. Um, I have someone else other than me to have permissions to read it. What I could do is Uh, if I do change mod and then I do 
555 test.text and then I do ls minus l you can see here that now it has permissions to read and write which I don't actually have to read it what I want to change this to is 5664 what this will do is give everyone permissions to read and write basically the sixes are the bit values for each of these components And what I can also do is make it a little bit less intuitive, more intuitive. If I do change mod, and then I do, I think if I do u, I'll do u, I'll do u, u or I can do o for other plus read write text dot text. You can see now that RW ha has permissions. And so what the O means other, which is this last group in here for the world, and then read write is basically these two permissions here. And so you want to change permissions. Um, so if you, make, you want to make a web page active or something like that, or want to have other people access to it, you would change permissions um, for your stuff. Um, there's another way to write out. So if you use this echo, so I do echo. Hello world. Basically, this just permits a command line out to you, but you can also do echo and write to a file. So if I do echo, hello world, and then I have a right arrow, and then I type in hello world dot text. Now I do ls minus l. You can see now here I have a hello world program. And then if I wanted to view it, I can type in cat hello world, and this will print out the file. I can do cat hello world or test.text. And I can see welcome. Or I can actually just do go pico again, pico hello world, and you can see the values. And so kind of for some of, some of the other commands, you can also do more hello world. Now what more does is different, you can't see it here because the file's not big enough. But let's see, what do I do? More, I went back to the home directory and I do more, let's see, examples.desktop. And see what more does is it basically tells you what all the different stuff is. And then if you type in space, it will fill it out for you. So clear this out. And then one other thing I also want to show you, which is kind of pretty important, if you type man for most of those commands, like I would do man ls, it will give you, and you can tap through through spaces or down and up, and then Q to exit. But basically man does is if you have a command that you're not quite sure how to use, type man in that command, and there should be a file that will kind of give you instructions on how to use it. And I think this is really useful. Now you can also, you know, Google for stuff. But I used to have a professor, and I ever asked him a question, how do you do this? He said, "Can you have you manned it yet? And man actually has pretty good documentation, and sometimes all, not all the man files are up to date on the internet. So it's usually pretty good to use, actually use the man in the command line. And so for a few other commands, um, if you type in date, it'll give you the date. This is more for time stamping stuff, which we'll go over later when we do this on um, the scripting file. Um, let's see what else we should go over and then one other thing I want you to so we do cal I do 8 27 you can see the month of August so if this was helpful for you and then if you finally if you want to get out you just type exit